Hi, I'm Jonathan with Business Solutions, and today we are going to go over the bank statement import module that we have created here. The first thing you're going to need is your bank statement. It can be in either a CSV format or an XLS format. There are only three things that are required for this module to work. You need posted date, description, and amount. You actually need these headers at the top for the module to work correctly. You need posted date with a capital P on posted and a D on date. You need a capital D on description and a capital A on amount. Another thing is for the posted date you have to have the date in the correct format and that format is year, 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 dash, month, month, slash, day, day. If you don't have it in this format then you would get an error. So what we're going to do now is go to the bank statement we're going to go to create. We're just going to create a just a record. You could give it a reference or you could leave it blank. We're going to save that. Go to more to this wizard right here, import statement lines. We're going to select the CSV file or the XLS file, either one. And then we're going to click the import. And you can see it automatically puts in the date, the reference, the account, and the amount. So the account is determined by this by the amount. If your amount is a negative, which means you paid, then it's going to affect the creditors or your other accounts. If it's positive, then it's going to affect your debtor's account. Once that is done, you can go ahead and compute it. And you can see that it's $100. We actually have to post that amount in any balance. If you don't, you get an error saying the expected balance is different than the computed one. So we're going to edit it, put the computer balance there, which is just a sum of all this, and then we can confirm it. Now once it's confirmed, the bank statements will actually be created, uh, they'll actually create journal entries. So we can go to journal entries, right here, and you can see that there's three for each of the line items that we just saw. And you can see that this was one that we paid, paid electricity, and it was $700. So it debits the creditors, and it credits the bank. So it takes $700 out of the bank. And that is the module.